Hello everyone, today we're going to be working on breaking your grub and how to get back in your system if you've been locked out. So this is a really good tutorial, um, please like and subscribe, please leave a comment if there's anything I left out or anything that you like. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, let me list my virtual machines, I have it on a KVM instance, or on KVM I mean. All right, so we're going to load Web Server 2. All right, let's try that again. Is it Web Server 2? Web Manager. Okay, so got that loading. Sorry about that, you guys. All right, so um, we're going to mess up the boot process. That way we can all see it. See if I can make this bigger. I don't have any uh, shortcuts. I would have to look for the shortcuts. I can see it perfectly, but just for this video, want to make it as uh, visible as possible all right so uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna remove or delete the configure grub configuration file so grub grub 2 and then grub config so we're gonna delete that now that we deleted that when we reboot our system is gonna break all right, our file system is broken. Um, let me just uh, log in a little bit more. I know it's a little bit annoying, but I have to, I guess, look up the shortcuts for it. Cool. So first thing you do is ls. This will tell you. So HD0 is a partition, and then we have two partitions, MS-DOS 1, MS-DOS 2. Usually it's on the first one, but in this instance, I started my system with LVM um, partitioning. So I'm going to have to insert some modules. So I'm going to insert the LVM module. And like I said, I am using the Red Hat uh, Red Hat 9. So Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. Um, if you're using CentOS, you're using some type of LVM partitioning scheme, um, it will be pretty much the same thing. So now that I insert LVM, we can see now that we have more options, we can see LVM rel root. That's the root file system right there. So that's the golden ticket. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is insert um, XFS since I have some XFS, uh, XFS uh, uh, file system. So the next thing is we have to set the root. So basically this first line is going to set the partition that the root file system is on. So the file system it, the root file system is on LVM come on root so the root file system is in LVM real root the next thing we have to do is uh, give it the kernel so the way we can find the kernel is we already know I know it's in um, H uh, MS DOS one um, but you can also use the ls command. So if you're not sure, you can use the ls command like this. And then type in ls. And then you put the parentheses. And then put hd0. ms dose one And then you got to put a forward slash. So you can look inside. As we can see, the kernel is in there. So now we can do... Now we can set it. So we set this. Now we're going to set um, the actual kernel. Now I can do tab completion. I know it's five. So I can end that. Um, actually, I forgot one thing. 
I also have to set the root again. And the reason why is because this is actually telling where the location is of the root file system. So the first one is just telling you what disk to look in. Um, the set root is telling you what disk to look in pretty much. And then the second part is telling you the location of the root file system. So it is redundant, but if you leave this out, uh, you will get a kernel panic. So we're going to do um, root device because I know it's there and it's in rel. And then from rel, I'm going to type in root because that's the root, as you know. <clears throat> oh, yeah, there's no tab, tab completion for this part. And the reason there's no tab completion is because I'm already, you know, I'm looking further into the system. Once it loads, it's where it's going to look. And then the last one is that RD and that RAM disk. Let me clear this really quick. I'll just do these commands so they're fresh. Okay. And that RD. And then we're going to do same thing, HD0. And then MS-DOS1. And then we're going to do MRD, we're going to do five, and then dot image. Okay. And clear the screen. I'm just running these so that way everyone can see it. Okay. So these are the three commands. You have to set, um, set where the uh basically where the partition or everything is located in the partition so it sets the partition where the um, root file system is on second one is that you're setting the kernel where the kernel is so you actually give the partition ms does one that's where the kernel is and then you have to tell it where the root file system is at and then that's where it's at it's in devrel root and then the init rd the init ram disk uh, then you have to give the init um, ram file system uh image and then that's pretty much it. And then we use the insert mod because we needed it for the LVM because it was uh, this was partitioned by LVM. So now I'm going to um, boot this and type in the boot command. So it says out of memory. Let me look at that real quick. Make sure I have everything correct. Okay, so let me reboot this, you guys, real quick. Um, the reason why I think I typed in too many commands, I guess, ran out of memory. I'm not sure how much memory this thing has. So we're going to do, um, all right, so dot image. Okay, now I'm going to boot it. Okay, now it's booting. Now, um, since it booted, now we've got to generate a configuration file. All right, so now what we have to do is type in grub to dot make config. And then we got to do the output because if you don't do this, it will print to the screen. So if I do this, it will print it to the screen. So you don't want that. So you got to give it an output location and the output location is under boot because that's where all the boot stuff goes. Um, so we're going to do grub to and then grab but remember i'm using a bio system so if you're using a ue efi system um it will be under boot efi efi something so grub dot config generate the configuration file now if i reboot the system it should it shouldn't break it should take me right back to wherever i wanted to go waiting for it to load it's taking a little bit longer all right there it is you guys uh thank you guys for watching um please subscribe please like and please leave any feedback and i appreciate you guys watch it watching thank you have a great day